everyone welcome back today i'm going to do something requested by one of my friends olivia she wanted me to do a video on how to draw bodies so that's what i'm going to be doing today and katie wondering what this is my eraser accidentally came off of this i was trying to sharpen it but yeah at least i still have an eraser and in case you're wondering why i'm on this page i just wanted to show you this is a little i was supposed to draw cat ears but i'll just probably do that later and i was gonna upload yesterday but i couldn't and i was thinking about doing it tomorrow but i can't because i'm gonna watch the queen's funeral and i won't have enough time to so i'm doing it today hopefully this is helpful and yeah i hope you like this if you don't that's fine but if you do comment down below what's your favorite thing about it i have to say i love this i love the eyes i thought i wouldn't do it symmetrically because sometimes i'm not the best at being symmetrical but yeah i quite like it and yeah this is some of my other drawings i draw quite a lot i just got i just not long ago i got a new sketchbook but yeah i'm on my new fresh fresh page and i'm going to show you the tools i'll be using for today let me just get them so here is a, a a ruler just in case i need it to like match up stuff and to make sure stuff is even i have my odd rubber <laughs> i have a stylus pen i use this um for like like my tablet but it can also be a pen in case i wanted to outline anything you can see there and yeah, it's also good for smudging. I'll use it later. I don't want to like ruin the page. And I also have this pencil I'll be sketching with. So we're gonna do this step by step. Feel free to follow along if you want. I would not mind at all. This is basically just supposed to be a tutorial for you guys. So hopefully you find that helpful. First, we're gonna just draw a circle for the head. It doesn't have to be too big unless you want it to be big then okay. And then you're going to want to divide it in half as best as you can. Maybe it's a little bit too long. But yeah, adjust things that you need to adjust. And yeah. And then when I map out the eyes, I would like... Wait, let me just rub this out so you guys can see it a little bit better. But yeah, it's a little bit hard to use this rubber. But you get the point. It's a rubber, so it does what you need it to do. But then I'm gonna do this. So I usually just do one line, but I'll do this other one so I know how thick my eyes want to be in case I want to draw it. Then the nose will just come here. Then I do that for the mouth. I can adjust things later so it's okay, but it doesn't look perfect right now. And then there's your head. What about what you need to rub out? And don't worry, this will look a lot better later. So don't worry if it doesn't look too good for right now. Then you're going to want to draw your neck. By the way, this is inspired by Lekla Hudar. Go check out her channel if you want to know. And I'm not a professional, even though I am pretty good at it. I'm not like a professional. I'm still learning how to draw things. Like, I'm not the best at drawing um I'm not the best at drawing fingers but yeah so as I, as you can see here I just did the hips area make it as big as you want I'm just doing it like an average size and then I'm just gonna do the shoulders here and unless you wanted to have like a top then get my uh, rubber and just rip it out a little bit but yeah and then yeah so it doesn't have to look perfect you can clean it up later I'm gonna shade this one. there we go and yeah it doesn't have to look perfect it doesn't matter if it doesn't what matters is that it looks generally like a body a little bit thinner. Oh. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I've made mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. Don't, like, don't get flustered. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. But just do what you can and use what you've got. If you've got the things that you know you're going to need that 
will do it for you. Then just use what you've got for now, and then later in the future, then you'll get what you want. But yeah, I've just uh, made the arms a little thinner. Wait, just make this part a little thinner as well. I don't want very stiff shoulders, so I'm just gonna make yeah, this a lot better. And if you want, you can add any type of clothing. It doesn't matter what you are wearing, what matters is that at least we've got something on. But yeah, here is one arm, and I'm just gonna draw the other one here. And like I said, you can change up what you need to. Don't worry about it looking perfect for now. You can clean it up later. So yes, I said this is inspired by Likelihood Art because she's a very good drawer. And that, see that eye that I drew on that first page? Yeah, that's inspired by Christina Lowry. Go check out her channel, it's really good. You know, I don't like that color, then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can do what you want with this drawing. Just the base of the body at least has to look like a body. If it doesn't, then that's okay. It's, it's telling you that you need to practice. I've practiced a lot on drawing. At first, like I thought it was a terrible drawer because, like, for some reason, I just like stopped drawing. I don't know why, <laughs> but like I just wasn't drawing for a while. And then when I went back to it again, I wasn't like the best. And then that was like telling me that like you gotta practice if you have a really good talent you don't want to lose it like I didn't want to lose my good talent on drawing so yeah if you want to keep it then you got to work on it so you have these two like lanes diagonal lanes here I think it's diagonal and then that like helps me do the leg part make sure these two like thigh parts make sure they touch each other I'm just gonna do a ball here for the for the knee. Yeah, make sure it's not like too much of a dip. Like just a little bit and then continue the leg. I don't think I'll be drawing the feet because I don't know how to draw them for like from like the um from the front view. So sorry about that, but um yeah, I think I might draw it at the end, like just by itself. So, if you want to see it, then just keep watching. But yeah, this is basically what it is, what how I would draw it. And yeah, let me just make some couple adjustments. So yeah. Now once you're done with the base of the body, you can start to like clean things up and like add in the realistic features. So I'm gonna just rub out these balls to draw in the actual part of the knee. That looks pretty accurate. And I'll do the same for the other one. As you can see, I've just added a pretty simple tube skirt into this it's very simple but yeah wait there you go in case you can't couldn't see that but yeah i'm just gonna add some very simple features i'm just gonna mm -hmm. there you go in case it makes it any better So like these end parts, like just to add little details, they're optional, you don't have to do it. So yeah, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, I'm just going to. Okay. 
So yeah, this pencil that I'm using, like, if you like try and rub out something, it still kind of shows, you can see here. It still can kind of show, and that's not the greatest. But, like, at least it's not too visible. So, yeah, just make sure it looks like a body, nah. uh, yeah. Like don't look that great anymore, but like it's okay. Rub out as much as you need to. Like don't hesitate to rub something out just because you want it to make it look perfect. Just do what you need to do and um oh sorry about that. Uh just do what you need to do. Make sure it looks um as best as you can. Don't hesitate to rub out anything out. I'm trying not to like make it look perfect. Try not to like focus your mind on oh it has to look perfect or it has to look the best. It doesn't. But why does that it looks good to you? Nah, you tried your best. When I first was drawing bodies, I kept on getting frustrated because I constantly kept on uh I constantly kept on uh trying and trying and trying and I wanted it to look as good as possible. My first one she was so tall. I've never done a male body though, and I'm sorry, but I don't think I'll be doing that. Just for the ease of it. But, you know. I wanted to blend in with the other one. But, yeah. I'm gonna draw the eyes. So, here is the end result. I hope you guys like this. I draw bodies quite a lot. And, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, comment down below with the hashtag SJFanSquad. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!